the Fio radio has the optional micro switch straight key that is edge mounted on the enclosure you can send with that might take a little getting used to but it works pretty well for what it is if you want to use an external key either uh, a paddle with a key or combination or a straight key you can plug those in in this jack here Now you'll see as you key on the LCD, there's a forward and reflected power meter. And these radios put out roughly 4 watts on battery power and up to about 5 watts with external power source. Uh, back to the touch keyer for a moment. I went over the speed control so you can change that on the fly. It also has memory keying, so I haven't programmed in a call sign yet, but if you wanted to send your call sign with the touch of a button, you can press that. And there are many, many programmable settings for the weight. You can reverse the keying. I send backwards because I learned it backwards. Um, lots of different options for beacon mode, uh, so you can set your radio up and call CQ and walk away for a few minutes and if someone calls you you can run back to the radio to respond uh, All right, so let's go ahead and get out of dummy mode dummy load mode So we're connected to an antenna here and we're on 20 meters Let's go into the CW portion open up the filter a little bit now how to properly adjust the audio for the zero beat indicator is what I'll go over next. So let's change the tuning step. Let's find a signal. Let's find a stronger one down here. How about this? Okay. So what you want to do, let me turn the audio amplifier down, turn the AF gain up until you start to see the, the bottom white LED start to illuminate with the code that's being heard. Might want to narrow the filter down a little bit so it sounds nice. Okay, now let's change the tuning step. Uh, tune, and you'll start to see these LEDs illuminate. And you want it right in the middle, the top one to be lit up. Then you know that you're you're right on. Now you'll notice that this is tuning the wrong way. So to change that, you press and release this button quickly. There we go. Now it's going the proper way. So you always adjust this first for the a zero beat indicator with the LED that illuminates and then adjust the audio amplifier volume control to a comfortable listening volume. You'll see that it has the, the S meter on the LCD and we're drawing about 115 milliamps on receive with a good signal and decent audio coming out of the speaker. I think that's about it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact me. Comment on the YouTube video here. Definitely visit my website, radiosetgo.com. All right, thank you very much, 7-3.